Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buongiorno, sabah al khair. Good day to you, trader. This is Mario from Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by a trader. Whether you like it or not, our life depends on external factors. Likewise, whether you like it or not, life on Earth also depends on external factors. Planet Earth is not a single entity suspended in a vacuum, it's part of the divine harmony of the universe. And in today's video, I'll tell you about the impact of this harmony on our trading and how it can be used to improve your trading results. And to learn the basic principles of this harmony, you don't have to sign up for my training on projection of price into the time and other much complex WD GAN methods. All you need to do is watch this video to the end and test the methods learned here on your own on the instrument you trade. So let's start the rock and roll. Everything moves in cycles, planets, galaxies, groups of galaxies, and in our micro scale, we've got combustion engines, we've got cyclicity of the crops, and of course trading instruments such as currencies like shares or commodities, as well as groups of these instruments mentioned. You have surely noticed that in swing trading, uh, there are partic if there are no particular events, tops and bottoms appear at similar time intervals. Maybe, well, maybe it sounds trivial, but as you watch this video, you'll find that you can easily determine the starting and ending dates of swings in the future based on a very simple mathematical relationship. So what I've got in front of me, I've got Euro USD daily chart in front of me and just in a moment you will see this amazing pattern of tops and bottoms of the market in 2020 based on mathematical calculations. Well, I'm telling you right now what's going on. Let's start counting. Let's say that we've got one cycle, one full cycle is 360 degree. If the Earth makes a complete cycle around the Sun, then to calculate how many angular degrees our planet makes with during one day, within a day, we must divide 360 degrees, we have to divide by 365, or to be more precise, 365.25, or one quarter. Because, as you might know, every four years we have a year which has got 366 days. So, just to keep it on the safe side, we've got 360 divided by 365.25 and a quarter, yeah? And as the result, we will get uh, 0 0.9856. That's the, the angular movement of the Earth within one day. So we've got, it's simple, isn't it? But I didn't want to talk about the Earth at the moment because I noticed a certain regularity between the position of the planet Venus and the swings on Euro USD pair. So as you guess, how many angular degrees does Venus travel around the Sun in one day? Let's calculate it. So again, we've got 360 degree one whole cycle. Let's divide it by 225 because 225 is the number of days Venus needs to, to make a full cycle around the Sun. All right, so let's do it this way. If we press enter, we got 1.6 degree makes Venus around the Sun in one day. So what I wanted to show you right now, I made a simple table where I marked already my uh, turning points of the market in 2020. The starting point is 31st of December 2000 and 
19, which is this one, is marked here, this line, 31st of December 2019, when, as you might know, EURUSD made a local top, it was the end of the year, window dressing, whatever was that, and then the market started falling. But let me show you how you, can, you could have forecasted this. So we got this date. So I made a table over here in, in Excel, in OBS, whatever, it's LibreOffice, Libre and I put the dates over here, one by one, day by day, as you see, and first starting date, the Venus moved 1.6 degree from the starting point, from the December, and so on. So I marked these areas. 6th of January was the first bottom. Let's mark it quickly. 6th of January, it was the top. Was this one? Yes, it was. So we had a high over here. And the next one was, uh, I marked, next one was on 10th of January, which was the low. And it will be a quick one. Is it 10? No, it's 9. It's 10 over here. It marked even the slow as a low of the of the swing as well. So that was 10th. Next one we've got we've got I marked it 15th of January 2020, which is here. Was it 15? This one was 15, I think. Yeah, the market close here made a high over here. So the next one would be the lo what is that? 30th of January 2020 is the next one. Where is 30th? Let's mark it. Is it this one or this one? 29th, 30th. That what it's shown. I mark here two more. 3rd of February 2020, which was uh, 3rd of February, I think, was this candle here. Yeah, that's 3rd. Let's go further. We've got 20th of February, which is here. This one is 20th, okay. And we got two more to go, I think, or three more to go. So it was 20th, 10th of March, 20th of March. Let's do it quickly. So we got 10th of March. It was over here. We've got 20th of March, which was over here. And we got, let's make two more and let's finish in this way. 20th, we got 30th of March and 14th of April. 30th of March, which was uh, 7th, 8th, 30th of March and 14th of April. Let's find 14th and leave, leave it like that. Was it 14th of April? That's it. So that's what I marked here. What you may realize at the beginning number of tops and bottoms was at the very short time intervals then it changed we had this downtrend on euro usd till till the uh, the end of january small correction and again the market fallen another altogether that was 51 days so it's not a, it's not a mistake that it happened after 51 days or 52 days but it's not the issue i'm going to talk about it what I wanted to show on this table, what is important here, what I realized, I realized it was pretty long ago, that at round numbers, at round numbers of uh, angular values of Venus, here we've got eight, it wasn't exactly on, it was Sunday, so the market reacted on Monday, but it was fixed value of eight, harmonic value. The next one, the next, it was a local top on 16th degree. So we got eight, 16th and 24. So it's, mul it's mul multiplications of eight in this case. The next one, we got 48 again. So six times eight is 48. We got 56 over here is another story. It was just one day missed, third or fourth. It was just one day earlier. But in these round numbers, we've got so what I've got over here. Over here, 19th was 80 again. Let's, let's check it on this 19th. You see, here was 19th. That's 19th February 2020. The market already tried to go up, but probably 
some stop losses have to be clean because many people know this method. If you don't know this, I'm happy to, to share it with you. Many people know this method and probably already there are quite a lot of, 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 of uh, positions were open over here for the rising market, the buying. Uh, many people bought here, so it was uh, stop losses were clean over here and the market started raising. Let's check the next one, which I marked here. On the way, we've got obviously we got 96, it fell on Saturday. 24th of the second, let's check it. Did it happen any for on 24? Was it 24? It's 26, 25th, 24. So it's nothing major in this case. But what is important? All this number, look, 10th of March, 112, round number. 5th of March, 104, it was a correction, I think. Over here, was it 5th? 4th March and 5th March, well, over here there was fi the 5th. So the market continued the rally over here. And as you realize further down, 20th of March was 128, another harmonic number. When you check over here is the number of days from the starting point. So here we got the 6th day, but we got 10th, 15th, Look over here, we got 30th day, nearly 35th over here, very close, it's just one day, one day slippage. We got over here 80, deg 80 degrees from the starting point, or 50 days. Look, it's very characteristic, 112. Another, another interesting number is half of the cycle as well. So it's 70 days, probably after 140 days, it would be the end of the cycle. 225, 140, 225, where have we got? Let's check it. We got far away, 225, when was that? That was on 12th, 8th, at 360 degree. Let's check it. 12th of August, 2020. What happened then? 12th of August, 2020. Let's check it. 12th of August, 24th, 18th, 17th, 13th, 12th, 11th, 12th of August. Look over here, is this candle, this babe. It's just the end of the cycle, which started on 31st of December 2019, and it ended up right here, and the new cycle started. So here we had the high, and here we had the low. So the, the cycle was completed, we, much, we might say. When you, when you analyze this, you, you might see that recently what happened, we had some issues over here. 1st of September 2020, 392 is this, this candle. This one, this is 1st of September 2020. What have we got here? This one is... Uh, Another one is 28th September. Let's check it. Have we got 28th September? We've got it somewhere here. 16th, 26th, 28th, 29th. No, we haven't. Sorry. This one didn't work. But what the next one? 1st of October. As of today, we are on 4th of October. It's Sunday. And we are very close to this value of 6th of October. I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed it, just uh, watch my other videos. I hope it helped you. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and bye-bye.